I participated in Miss Universe Nepal because of his inclusivity. I am here for that young Priya who is a dreamer. I strongly believe that Miss Universe Nepal is a spokeswoman who is confidently beautiful, inspirational and international. I have all these three qualities, that's why I am here. I'm here to aware people that we need to educate our children. Miss Universe Nepal has been this platform which allowed me to actually open up become more confident about my experience with mental health and actually advocated. I have found that this platform is very, very influential. Miss Universe is the biggest platform one could ever dream of. Particularly for the platform it provides so that I can have a greater outreach for some of the social work that I want to do. I have a voice. I want to make myself heard. I can be a representative of Nepal internationally. Miss Universe Nepal is like a journey to me where I will be accepting myself in a different way. Miss Universe Nepal for me is a platform where I can transform myself into more bold, brave and beautiful person. I'm here for my whole improvement and to give my best and to represent Nepal in an international arena. To like link together what I've learned through this platform. To show the diversity of women that we always had in our society and of course to represent my LGBTQ community people. Through Miss Universe Nepal, I want to be able to provide that opportunity to each and every woman and girls in Nepal so that uh, they can dare to dream, dare to work for it and finally achieve it just like me. I saw an ad on Instagram, right? So this is a funny story. I took a screenshot and I sent it to my family group chat and I was like, two thumbs up and I will join Miss Universe Nepal. <laughs> and they actually sent me like four, so I was like, okay, I'll give it a shot. Oh, uh, my childhood was pretty like limited, you know. So for the when I was until I was two, I was still in Gao, and I do not remember a lot. But whenever I go back to my village, I look at the surroundings where I grew up. Um, like pretty simple God, you know, no toys or whatsoever. my parents were uh, my dad was migrating abroad, so I grew up with my mo mother and my grandmom. So again, we didn't have a lot of you know privileges, mono. Uh, Belgium in the first few years were like quite rough because my dad struggled with like learning the Dutch language. Same went for my mother. Uh, being the GT at home as well, um, I never had like a lot of playtime. But so many privileges now, but I remember I was like always happy. My mother like koyli pani ke kura ko kami thi na, ani overall a happy family, happy me. Oh my God, suck your concessions. He is so full of life and I, I like it. I, I love how he like publicly embarrasses us. So he's like, Jojo, so guys, can we have a look at Jojo? I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get a compliment. And he's like, this is exactly what you should not look like. And I'm like, okay. So his sessions I really loved. Mindfulness. For me, that was so necessary. Ani, I was just like self-healing. So that was like good to, you know, start our day with that session. I enjoyed that. Number one is Sujita because I feel like I love her personality. She is like, she knows how to, you know, she's out there. My eyes notify her like instantly from the moment she's in the room. Anshika. Why? Um, also like, she's a very humble girl. I, she's my, <laughs> but she's this very like tall, fair, long hair, like the ideal pageant, you know. To be honest, I was a very shy and not so confident person, but moving to Sydney and studying there and working there has made me meet people uh, from different walks of our life and that made me very confident. And not to forget about this pageant, I had some kind of self-doubt of whether I can, you know, come to this big platform and raise my voice and awareness, but um, getting all the trainings and um, from amazing people, I think I've gained that confidence and, and overcame that self-doubt. I had a, a big challenge of coming to Nepal from Sydney. I was doing a you know, full-time job, nine to five, but uh, coming from that space to joining a beauty pageant has been challenging yet fruitful. My role model, very close to my heart, are my parents because you know, I've seen their struggle, I've seen their journey throughout my entire existence. And whatever I do in my life, whatever actions or decisions that I take in my life, that is influenced through their stories. 
My biggest contender is myself because everyone here are different. They are very unique and I'm also unique on my own way. I've, I have my own experience and I have my own challenges that I face to come to this stage. So I can only relate to myself more than any other people. Yeah, actually, I belong to uh, Barbies in the Baljok, which is very much near to uh, China border and which is also known as Bazaar because uh, in Barvisi we get uh, Chinese product a lot and uh, as a childhood I was very mischievous and I had very much difficulty in learning Nepali language actually Nepali subject because whenever I see the movie Tare Jamin for I remember myself actually and it was very mischievous but I was very happy with my childhood whatever I did in my childhood I was very happy the best moment that I had was with Prerna Saha, who was the holistic trainer. And uh, actually, I was always focused about the physical fitness, but through that training, I came to know about the mental fitness as well. I was not a camera person. I was very kind of a shy, shy type of person. So uh, facing the camera was a very much a biggest challenge for me, but I think I have coped up with it. Actually, every contestant in the competition is uh, very confident, very beautiful, very brave. And if I have to choose one, um, I think I will choose myself. <laughs> if, uh, if I couldn't choose myself, then I would definitely choose Priya Sigdal because she is so much brave and she, she talks very confidently like a boss and she is so much down to earth. I have a different intercaste family. I have a lot of people who are in the world. I have a lot of people who are in the world. I have a lot of people who are in the world. I have a lot of people who are in the world. I have a lot of people who are in the world. I have a the problems we had, the achievements we had, and the celebrations we do every day. So my family is my everything. In the competition, I think my, I don't know, challenge or struggle, or how you name it, was coming in the bottom four when I was in the elimination round. My biggest strength is I see the, you know, the, the dedication of people, and I aspire that. I, I, when I'm in a room, I give that energy to people of positivity that you can also do anything in life if you aspire to do so. Speaking about my weakness, I think I do fear myself sometimes a lot for whatever I do. Biggest competition I believe is my attitude towards myself. I believe with this attitude I can win or with this attitude I can learn. Being the youngest, I I think I really had to prove my spot, you know, a lot of people, even um, people in the comments are like, oh, she's so young. And I feel like people already have this mindset that she's going to come back. <laughs> so I feel like it's, um, it can kind of mentally be detrimental, but you know, I, I know I can do this. My family, they've always wanted one medical student. And I think it's really because it benefits my family if something happens and they can go back to their daughter. But it's, it's mostly my parents' dream. But I'm, I'm gonna do everything that makes my family proud. Growing up with so many kids from so many different backgrounds, you learn a lot, you know? You learn from their experiences and it really makes you think differently. It gives you a new perspective in life. It teaches you how to be grateful, you know? Not everybody is fortunate enough to have a good life. I used to work at a fast food restaurant in America. I used to work till about 4 a.m. even in um, school days. So with that money, I used to save about $50 every paycheck. And the moment I came to Nepal, I wanted to give computers to schools. So the community I work at, I immediately gave to computers and it's a small community and it's children who are unfortunate. So with the computer, the principal was like, you know, the kids, we had computers before. The kids came and they broke in, they took the computer and ran away. So um, my proudest achievement is donating computers, yes. In the past, I was a very shy girl growing up. When I was so dark, like, to even garmapani, like, you know, my, I used to love dancing, but I used to love dancing in the house, not in public. School Mavani, I would just be so nervous to go up and like present my projects and stuff.
stuff. So, you know, growing up, I was very shy and I wasn't very vocal, but that's something that I wanted to overcome in life. That's one thing that led me into pageantry. I realized, you know, pageantry, my God, but see, it's not just the glitz and the glam, but it's really a leadership platform. You know? And so that allowed me to build my self-confidence and allowed me to really crit like critique myself and see what's the good side of myself, what's the bad side, how can I improve myself, and how can I build that voice? I was raised by a single mother in, um, in the United States. And so, you know, I was raised in a household of a single mother, immigrant, and it's a funny low income household because obviously, US my migrant guys, it's really hard to, you know, establish financial stability, I know. So I was raised by a single mother and I, I take that as a blessing. Um, you know, people always ask me, do you feel like you miss the fact that you don't have a father? But for me, like, I never had a father, so I never knew, I know, I was never familiar with my father, so I never felt that I was missing that aspect of my life. When we go out internationally, when we step outside of our country and our community, what sets you apart? It's your culture, it's your, your culture teaches you a lot of your morals, your life skills, I know, it helps you navigate through your obstacles in life. And so I think, you know, it's really important to be one with your culture, with your roots, because without that, you don't have an identity. So one of my interesting things that I wanted to share is that I choreographed for Mr. and Miss Rotaract in the two consecutive years. That was before COVID pandemic. It was a closed camp just like this and I had to train about 30 to 32 parties, 30 to 32 participants, both male and female. Oh yes. Actually I completed my undergraduate and I had applied for my master's and PhD degree. And I also received a fellowship of about 42,000 US dollars. And for Miss Universe, I also for Miss Universe, and also because there was a pandemic, I had to miss that. And it's my biggest sacrifice, but I'm happy. Whatever happens, happens for good. So I have a peace with it, and I'm just, just I'm okay with that. But that's the biggest sacrifice, I have to say that. And what I want to do is, since I'm from Joomla, and I know how uh, scarce it is to have that better health system and health services. So I aim and I, I aspire to run all the centers that have not been running smoothly and not just in Joomla, all the other remote places. I want to at least be able to set up a health uh, center for women, for women health, reproductive health, sanitation and counseling, everything. I am a really confident person. I am ready to face whatever is given to me. And my weakness is I'm really bad with direction. I cannot direct people or which to go left, right or that. I'm very bad in, in telling people the directions. Biggest achievement as of now, I never in my wildest dream I thought that I would be trained from uh, those people who trained Miss Universe 2018 Katriona Gray and Miss Universe 2015 Pia Wojbak. I was like, wow, I was awestruck that I will be trained by those trainers. And also another achievement I would say is I've achieved friends. Science means my family because it is because of that what we are today. My dad's in physics, my mom's in chemistry, I'm in biology and my brother was into engineering. So basically all of us are involved in science. My role model is my father. My father, he's so passionate towards his job, he's so passionate about teaching his students that has actually taught me uh, the, the devotion and dedication that you, ha you should have towards what you want in your life. He's really taught me to be uh, the far-sighted person to see in what ha to, to see what to do in the future and to live in the present and to always do good to others without expecting from them. He is my biggest ins inspiration. He is my everything. I just love him. Rosna is a great gossip queen. She likes to gossip a lot about uh, movie industry, about pageants, and about clothes. I have always been a pageant passionate person, and. Uh, so Miss Universe is the biggest platform one could ever dream of. So yes, that's why Miss Universe Nepal. Yes, I live in a joint family. I have one elder sister and one younger brother. My mother is a banker and my father is uh, in construction business. I, I just lost my grandmom recently. That's about my family. This is not only my dream. My parents has the dream of making their daughter a beauty queen. So I am here in full support of my family. 
Okay, for this pageant, I have given up on my exams, so yeah, that would be the biggest sacrifice I have ever made in my life. For me, um, Priya Sigbel, uh, she has an amazing advocacy and the way she speaks is uh, very mesmerizing. I want to be her in a way, the way she speaks. And Sujita, because the way she walks is amazing and Miss Universe needs to have a very great walk, so yeah, that's why Sujita and Priya. I am based in Moscow, Russia. I was born and raised in there. However, I lived abroad for about 10 years. Now I'm here in Nepal and I'm very excited about everything that's been happening here. My mom is Russian. Um, my father is uh, Nepali Indian. When I was about 13 years old, 13, 14, my parents sent me to a boarding school in India, up in the mountains in Missouri. And I've studied there for five years, so mountains are something very close to my heart. So I'm very happy to be here because I just miss the landscape like this. I wanted to find my confidence, my inner, inner energy wanted to just get out, but I didn't know how to do so. And I think through following my dreams, following my passions and growing as I go through the journey, I learned how to be more confident about myself, confident about my values, about who I am as a person. So, and pageantry played a huge role in that as well. I would say the girls that I have been very connected with, the ones that um, I've been talking with the most uh, lately, first of all is my roommate, Angel. She's very sweet, she's very helpful, and we have our girl chats in the evenings as well before we go to sleep. And she has a very interesting life story, so I feel very connected with her because she, she opened up to me and I'm opening up to her as well, so she's one of the contestants I'm very close to. I currently live in the United States in Washington, D.C. I am a TV anchor at a regional TV station and I'm also um, a proud beauty queen, um, former Miss Nepal U.S. My current aspiration is to keep writing poetry on the journeys that I take in life and hopefully compile them into a book. And after pageantry, I really want to look into politics and hopefully run for a position of office. No matter where I go in the world, I will always be in Nepali, I will always look Nepali, and I will always love Nepali food. So to me, that is my identity, and that's why it's very important for me to stay close to my roots. My parents and my entire family and extended family have been really supportive. My dad has been the main guy as a campaign manager for a lot of the sessions and rounds of voting, so I'm really, really happy that they're being so supportive about my journey. 
I wouldn't say I have a single individual person, but my biggest competition is with myself. I've grown a lot in this journey, um, not only with time management and particularly beauty pageant things itself, but also how to be a better person and how to be a better Nepali. Everyone says that Angel doesn't exist, but for me, Angel do exist, and that's my younger sister. Her name is Mansi Khatka. Even though I was in California all the way seven oceans far and she was here, she was like 24 seven, um, sitting right in front of the laptop while I was sleeping and while I was waking up because I used to get panic attack. I used to go to the hospital three days a week. That's the best moment that I believe that my sister is my angel and I just love her. Five-year-old Nancy, I would say like, no matter what um, other people are saying about you, like body shaming you and um, complexion shaming you, you're a warrior, you're more than that. My well-wishers, supporters, my family's friends, everyone is being so supportive throughout this prosperous journey of mine. So of course, not just from public voting, but with my hard work and dedication, I will prove that I am the one who could represent Nepal in an international platform. And I definitely would stood out in front of everyone. Before joining the pageant, I thought I would have contenders, specific contenders, but after joining this pageant and after the announcement of top 50 and the top 18, I think each and every one of us are inspiring in a lot of ways. So my contenders are all of us top 18, top 18, including me. My family is my biggest support. Every member has been supporting me in different ways, but in this journey, I would like to specifically mention my dad because I was really worried about the votes and the likes and whether I'm going to proceed or not. But he said to me, that Rosina, you just focus on your performance. Do not worry about the likes and votes. That is my job. So that was a really big moral support for me. My role model is my dad, not only because he's my dad, but also because he has an inspiring story. He was born and raised in a village and he came to Kathmandu with only 50 bucks in his pocket and he managed to study and he's right now one of the prestigious person in the society and he really inspires me and I want to become someone like him, inspiring. Personality. One of the main reasons why I joined Miss Universe Nepal is because I was, uh, I always wanted to participate in a pageant and Miss Universe is the most prestigious pageant in the whole wide world. But also the other main reason why I participated in Miss Universe Nepal is uh, as a human, like we do make mistakes and I had made some mistakes as well and people who mis make mistakes, the society um, view us as some type of um, outcasts. So for all those who have made mistakes in life and are having difficulties to move forward in life, who are having doubts, so I want them to look at me and have the courage again to move forward in life and be the best versions of themselves. So the role model of my life would definitely be my grandmother and mother. So like I said before, I was raised by two incredibly strong, phenomenal women and they have taught me how to live my life. They have faced hardships in life and they're very resilient and I think the resilient person I am today comes from them also. It wasn't that big of a problem, but the tiny problem was the time constraint. Uh, since I, were, I am a busy individual, um, we had virtual trainings and Zooms. But nevertheless, I took out time for this competition because it's very important for me. Other than that, everything is fine and I'm happy. I have a pharmaceutical doctorate degree. And uh, so my educational background, I studied in my own school. For my high school, I did my A-levels in James Institute. And it was really difficult for me to adapt there because I, have been, I was in my own hometown and at my own school. But their adapting was a little bit difficult for me, but uh, that was the most important part in my life. That time I learned that, uh, you know, challenging yourself is the best way to know yourself. So I kind of adapted there and I kind of, uh, you know, learned about the life and everything. And after that, I was more into challenging myself. So I decided to go to Bangalore for my further studies. My childhood drew it uh, I don't know it kind of, it will like sound kind of uh, you know funny because uh, I used to say all the time I'll be actress and all I didn't be the actress I, I'm a doctor now but still uh, when I was a child I used to say all the time that oh I'll be actress and all
Uh, so during this uh, competition, like I told you, everything was new for me. Uh, and there were uh, tasks for us to do to be selected in the top 50. And uh, the most difficult part for me was the task one that was swimsuit round. Because uh, being in swimsuit is a different thing, but being in swimsuit and posing for camera and uh, you know taking the videos, that was really difficult for me. And that was not something I was you know comfortable with. But uh, at the end of the day, when I finished it, I was really proud that I did it. <laughs> Everyone is uh, so brilliant and versatile <laughs> and I have learned so much from them, from each of them. I am a very much experimental type of a person and I love to experience new things in my life. What I love mostly is traveling. Traveling is what gives me serenity so much. I love to visit new places. My family, we are foreign members, my mom, my dad and my younger brother. My whole family is very much supportive as I come from a very much different background of medicine but they are very supportive about Miss Universe Nepal and they have always encouraged me to participate in Miss Universe Nepal so I am here for the crown. The biggest struggle that I have faced during this period is that being a medical person as I am preparing for my postgraduate study and all I have to do usually is study, study, study. But now I'm so much into patient and uh, I have not given that much of time for a study. So I think, yeah, that's the struggle I'm facing right now. But I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna um, focus in my study so much in later. If I have to tell the names of my biggest competitor, then firstly, it's gonna be me, Erika Ranavat, no doubt. Second, the biggest competitor for me is Priya, I find is Priya Sigdel. I've been working in Blue Diamond Society since four years as a writer right now, platform member. So I basically advocate for marriage equality. I advocate for love. Before I found out that I was a transgender, it was quite a hard journey for me and uh, I used to see a lot of people, you know, bullying me and picking me out in colleges. So I dropped out of college because of the harsh bullying. So later on, when I won Miss Pink Nepal in 2018, a college, KNK College, basically approached me for this scholarship and I'm their first transgender student to study in their college. So I'm being the change and inspiring others to be the change in the society. I am the only ch one child of the family, being the transgender. In Nepali society, it was quite, quite hard. It's quite hard for me still. But uh, yeah, my mom is a single mom. She's very independent. As you can see me, she has taught me to be the best and independent woman that I am today. And yeah, that's my family. My childhood was pretty much it was a disaster, I would say, because I was very introvert and questioning my gender identity. It was quite hard for me to, you know, make new friends. As our society always labeled us as only male and women, so I was just not adjusting myself in that box of society. So I tried to, you know, find myself later on in life, and I found out that I was a beautiful transgender woman that I am today. I basically grew up with my stepmom. So she is a uh, part of our life that I cannot ignore or say no to. I really love her and she has raised us basically, me and my brother. Miss Universe Nepal is like a journey to me where I will be accepting myself in a different way. Uh, it's about regaining the energy and it's basically about expanding the potential of dreams. Um, right now I'm risking my job <laughs> to be here. Uh, the job that won me braid, butter, everything. I risk that job, I risk that dream to be here because this is something bigger for me. This is something that will change my life forever. Every 17 other girl is equally the contender for me because she is here because she deserves it. And I am so, as I said, I'm very inspired by the energy, the content like how they can actually uh, come out of the comfort zone and they are putting themselves here. See, I'm, I'm an experienced beauty pageant. I have already been through this like a few times, right? But there are a few girls who, is, who are doing it for the first time or like coming at uh, this big for the first time, right? So it's, it, it must take a huge deal of energy for them to be in this zone, right? So I think I'm very inspired by the way they have pushed themselves up, come out of the comfort zone, uh, put, a, put, some, put themselves up in a different box and expressing themselves at their level best. So I think everybody is a competitor for me.